Tesla CEO Elon Musk is currently engaged in a back-and-forth lawsuit with the social media giant Twitter. Musk is known for his proactive and risk-taking attributes regarding business decisions. However, this is one business deal that is proving difficult for Musk to close. So what will it be? Will the lawsuit against him be enough to make his return to the original deal? Keep watching this video to find out. Did Musk offer to buy Twitter to increase his wealth? Elon Musk started buying Twitter shares in January 2022, unknown to the public. By March, he had accumulated over 5% stake in the company before it finally became known to the public in April that the Tesla CEO had offered to buy the social media company. Ever since his declaration to buy Twitter, many questions have been raised as to why the richest man in the world would want to purchase another company. Many have wondered if the primary reason is to increase his wealth. However, Musk has insisted that his reason doesn't have anything to do with making money from the company. The Tesla CEO, who is also the eighth most followed user on Twitter, said that his reason for offering to buy Twitter was to create a space for free speech. According to him, Twitter is not living up to its potential as a platform that supports freedom of speech. Twitter users are aware that the social media platform is given to suspending accounts that violate its content standards, especially regarding violent or hate speeches. A popular example is the suspension of the former POTUS, Donald Trump's Twitter account. It is pretty much understandable that Musk would propose to make Twitter a freer space. I mean, Musk is known for his controversial and sometimes crude tweets. Being a user with many followers, he sure does wield a great deal of influence. Does Elon Musk still retain his place as world's richest man? As of September 2022, Elon Musk still remains the world's richest man, thus topping the list of the 10 richest men in the world. Musk enjoyed a surge in his net worth in 2021 thanks to a nearly 50% increase in the share price of Tesla. With so much of their wealth in publicly traded stocks, the net worth of the world's richest men like Musk can fluctuate with market valuations. For example, Musk's net worth fell by almost $62 billion in the first half of the year, and Amazon's Jeff Bezos lost a little less than $63 billion according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index. However, as of September 9, 2022, Elon Musk is worth a whopping $264 billion, according to Forbes, making him retain his position as the richest man in the world. Elon Musk is presently the co-founder of six companies, including electric car maker Tesla, rocket producer SpaceX, and tunneling startup Boring Company. He owns about 25% of Tesla between stock and options, but has pledged more than half his stock as collateral for loans. In April this year, after disclosing a more than 9% stake in the company, thus becoming its biggest individual shareholder, Musk made his intentions to acquire Twitter public. More news on this is coming up next. Why did Musk back out from the deal a few days later? That's the twist to the story. Although Musk had clearly stated his noble intentions if he finally purchased the company, he suddenly turned and backed out of the deal a week after the proposal was made public. So the big question is, why did he change his mind? According to Musk, he is backing out of the $44 billion deal because, simply put, Twitter was not honest about fake accounts on the platform. Musk alleged that the microblogging site had breached multiple provisions of the merger agreement. In light of his announcement, Twitter took offense and threatened to sue Musk, claiming his reasons were not valid enough to want to back out. It appears that Musk may have been under pressure to get Twitter to lower its sale price. However, the only reason Musk wants to back out from the plan is because he found out that, contrary to what Twitter's CEO had said, the amount of fake or bot accounts on the platform is more than 5%. Living up to their threat, Twitter went on to sue Tesla CEO Musk on the 12th of July in an attempt to get him to commit to the merger. But the drama doesn't end there. In a turn of events that wasn't expected, Musk filed a countersuit against Twitter, accusing the social media company of fraud and deceiving his legal team. A judge in the Delaware court has fixed a week-long trial starting October 24, 2022. I bet you would like to know all the dramatic twists and turns this case has suffered since it was first filed. Are you wondering how this lawsuit will affect Twitter's stock and followership? Will the court rule in the social media company's favor? Keep watching this video to know the latest updates on the Twitter Musk lawsuits. What is the latest update on the Twitter Musk case. A few days ago, lawyers from both parties met with Judge Kathleen McCormick for an oral argument session. During the session, Musk's team presented other reasons why Musk decided to hold back on the Twitter deal. Apparently, Musk had been concerned about a brewing World War III when he was still in talks with Twitter about buying the company. According to his lawyers, Musk wanted to wait and hear Russian President Putin's speech before deciding on the deal. Twitter's lawyer, however, labeled this reason as a sly move by Musk to back out. Needless to say, they didn't buy it. But Musk wasn't done. His lawyers revealed that another reason their client chose to back out of the deal was because of new evidence that came in the form of a whistleblower. Mr. Musk and his team had claims of the testimony from former Twitter employee Peter Zatko, who confirmed Musk's accusation of Twitter's fake accounts and other mismanagements. Due to this new evidence, Musk requested to amend his complaints against Twitter and also asked that the trial be pushed to a later date so his team could probe Twitter's data further. Twitter's team had a perfect comeback, saying that Zatko was only a disgruntled former employee looking to cause trouble for the company, and as such, 
his statement holds no ground. Finally, after the back-and-forth argument that ensued, Judge McCormick ruled on Musk's request, permitting him to amend his complaint but rejecting his request for a later trial date. The week-long trial will, therefore, still hold in October 2022. So what will happen to Twitter after the hearing? So what happens to Twitter now? Two CEOs are fighting over Twitter, but in a bad way. One wants to give it away, and the other won't have it. However, in all of this, Twitter is the only sufferer. Stay with me to find out what people are saying about this. One thing's for sure. In the face of the lawsuits passed between Twitter and Elon Musk, Twitter is now in a worse state than when Musk offered to buy it. In July, after Musk made public his plans to back out, Twitter shares plunged more than 11%, and investors worried about Musk's moves to pull out of the $44 billion deal. This ongoing battle is definitely not one of Twitter's best moments. Regardless of who wins the case, the employees may end up paying for whatever bad decision was made in the first place. Not sure of how the case will go. Twitter's employees are concerned for the safety of their jobs, especially since some employees have been laid off while others chose to quit. This may also serve as a bad sign for potential investors and advertisers. In any way, it is difficult to say who will emerge victorious in this case, although some law and business experts have hinted that Twitter has a strong case. However, if Musk wins, Twitter can still benefit from the $1 billion breakup fee that Musk will pay. In other news, Meta is set to appeal European data privacy fine. Facebook parent company Meta is currently facing its largest fine from the European Commission's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, for failing to protect the data of minors. Following an investigation that started almost two years ago, Ireland's Data Protection Commission reportedly issued Meta a fine of $402 million for its failure to protect the information of teenagers that signed up for Instagram business accounts. The commission ruled that Instagram violated the laws of GDPR by making the names and phone numbers of teenagers between ages 13 and 17 accessible to the public. Meta has, however, stated that the data settings that made that access possible has been updated over a year ago. They mentioned that many new features have been released to help keep teens safe and their information private. Meta has also declared their intention to appeal the fine. Earlier this year, Ireland's Data Protection Commission fined Facebook $17 million for 12 separate data security breaches. I guess Meta is finally ready to push back, especially because this time they have claims to prove they are not guilty. And that's a wrap, guys. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to be the first to know when we drop future video. Also, do well to share your thoughts on the Twitter Musk lawsuits with me in the comments section. What do you think will win? I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for watching.